don't even look at um, I don't look at what you got from school. Oh. I just number one look at okay. I look at um, the bio data, your age, the and history all of, of your that. life, where you're coming <laughs> from, <laughs> and then I where you've been, uh, hey, and then I check um, okay maybe your work experience, places you've been. I like it when people when um, people write CVs more. Like, um, okay, like I was writing CV for my sister and I said, tell them even things that are not necessarily work. Like she belongs to some groups like Red like Cross. Like some volunteer yeah, work. Yeah, because that might just be it for, for you. I remember mm. a friend of mine that worked with me. She just came to work with me for some time because she was idle and then she wanted to do something. And then when she, she went for this job interview and she just wrote um, volunteering at Homecraft and that was what got her the job. That's quite insightful. So, so uh, some of these community work or so it's part of your cv because you're doing something centers. and then i look at another thing interesting thing that i look at is that i look at the time you finished school okay. and then to the time you do the next job so i wonder what have you been doing in the, the space gaps. of you know in that gap what were you doing so you must be able to fill it in for me i don't want to see empty space so because it tells me that um, maybe you need this job now because you are broke or you need um, a quick fix you know so <laughs> It's so for you, is the person behind the degrees, the, person, the certificates, the person. and the journey of the person? It's where the person. Been, what he's wasn't done. the most intelligent. It wasn't even Among that the uh, average at all. Intelligent. Was <laughs> but yet, he's smart. Now you know, he's you can be professors. smart. You know, so that's it. Now, when you meet the person eventually, I mean, you haven't gone through the CV and you've zeroed in on a number of applicants. Um, when you eventually meet the applicants in person what are the things you look out for see um i'm really gifted with intuition <laughs> my intuition is very strong i was thinking like that uh, as we were talking about the phone conversation that are you internally directed you rely more <laughs> on your sixth sense yeah than I, your brain yes because i just um i almost can't tell you know, I don't know, it's, it might be a gift, which I'm grateful. Yeah, everybody has intuitive gifts, actually. <laughs> it's just that we don't use it. Yeah, if you don't um, develop, if you don't, don't use it after some time, it will just leave you. Everybody is as one. Yeah, it's so, just that it's dormant in many people's own. So I have learned to really develop mine, and it has really helped me. Even we work. Even we work. So I almost can tell. So once I start talking to you, and then when well, you're lying, I can tell. Why? <laughs> so you rely on your internal <laughs> antenna. Exactly.